again, I think that the same argument we made with Reed can be made for Adam and external. Um, because in an election year, when you can potentially be like at, at the table across from like PCMLAs, especially having watched them in the forum, Adam is the person I want across like across that table, worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. God, I'm so tired of like VP externals that are all the same. Like it just, it's, it's, it's frustrating. Like and not even the candidates, but like y electing Adam would be par for the course of every other VP external yeah. we've had in my yes. entire time here. She talks, she talks a lot about uh, student financial aid and grants and I think that's important and she also uh, talks a little bit about international students as to how they should have greater bursaries, which is a very important thing. She consistently uh, makes mistakes when she's referencing things. VP External is the most lobby yeah. of the VPs, and if you like make these kinds of mistakes in front of government, it's more of a problem. Jimmy is very well spoken. He's... That's one thing I've seen about him. Like um, when he gets a mic, he he knows what he's talking about. So that's something I like about him. Um, he's also like one thing I've seen is he has this whole paragraph about international students again goes back to can you actually do something or not but at least he recognizes that that's something that needs to be done so he's different mm -hmm. uh, than VPXs we've had in the past but he yes. has the knowledge and the marketability like I think yes. he I think if he walks into the room the UCP at first would be like oh fucking millennial student but <laughs> yes. I think that they would listen yeah. because I think yeah. he's a convincing person yes. Yes.